Ladies and gentlemen of the technology community, use Bitcoin. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, Bitcoin would be it. The growth potential for a cryptocurrency is supported by economists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense this advice now. Explore the power and opportunity of your idea. You see, you will not understand the power and opportunity of your idea unless you launch a startup to pursue it. And trust me, in five years, you'll look back at your business plan and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and yet how tough success really looked. Your idea is not as harebrained as you imagine. Don't worry about failure or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to solve a coding problem by hiring an MBA. The real troubles in your startup are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind, the kind that blindside your server at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. Do one thing every quarter that scares your CFO. Blog. Don't be reckless with board members' time. Don't put up with board members who are reckless with yours. Mentor. Don't badmouth your competition. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long, and in the end, it's all about the customer. Celebrate positive product reviews. Learn from the negative ones. If you succeed in doing this, you'll do well. Keep your old idea napkins. Throw away your old business plans. Code. Don't feel guilty if you don't know how your product will monetize. The most interesting CEOs I know didn't know at their Series A how they would make money. Some of the most interesting $10 billion companies still don't. Tweet. Be kind to your investors. You'll likely need them for your success. Maybe you'll exit. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll go public. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll crash and burn badly. Maybe you'll have a bigger impact than Mark Zuckerberg or Steve Jobs. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance. So are every other entrepreneur. Leverage your creative mind. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Ship software, even if your product is still in beta. Listen to your lawyers, even if you don't follow them. Do not hire bankers to sell your firm who only make you feel stupid. Get to know the relevant strategics. You never know when a deal might make sense. Be nice to your co-founders. They're your best chance for success and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Understand that employees come and go, but for the precious few, you should hold on. Work hard to build a cohesive team culture of success, because the bigger you get, the more you'll need the people you work with when you were launching. Fund from New York City VCs, but don't just focus on profits. Fund from Northern California VCs, but don't just focus on users. Pivot. Accept certain inalienable truths. Acquirers will bargain, investors will self-optimize, you too will get old. And when you do, you'll fantasize that when you were young, acquirers paid premiums, investors were charitable, and entrepreneurs balanced their lives. Balance your life. Don't assume you can always raise more money. Maybe you'll finance another round. Maybe you'll hit profitability. But you never know when either one might run out. Don't take too much capital, or by the time you're fully funded, you'll be diluted to 5%. Be careful whose advice you buy, but be appreciative of those who supply it. Advice is a business model for intermediaries. And the best kind is from strategic advisors who think like a principal. The ones that put the client's interest first, which sadly happens less than it should. But trust me, 
on the Bitcoin.